What's up, everybody? It's your boy AC, and welcome back to another post game edition of LA Sports Live. The LA Lakers, they defeat the Cleveland Cavaliers. What is the score? 115 to 108. You know, it's kind of one of those games um, where, you know, you know that you guys know the Lakers kind of play down to their competition a little bit. Uh, but the King was at home and uh, they, they, they managed to get like, I think they had about 1,800 fans in Cleveland. I know LeBron had some some family members there and he didn't want to disappoint AD and THT got to show out in Chicago and tonight the king the king he reminded everybody who he who the king is which is LeBron James and then uh, all these little stupid ass debates about who's the MVP of the league oh it's KD it's Giannis it's Luka it, it, it's is the big man in the in the Denver, uh, the MVP of this league, the best player in this league, is still LeBron Ramon James. He proved it tonight. 46, 8 and 6. Yeah, you heard me right. 46, 8 and 6. LeBron carried the Lakers tonight. He brought the game home. He shot he shot about 53 pointers and made about 40 of them. Um. You know, it's, it really is a treat to see uh, a player of LeBron James' magnitude in the twilight of his career, in the purple and gold. The guy is revamping his game. He's changing his game right before our eyes. And I'll be damned if he's becoming a jump shooter, a perimeter player, and a three-point shooter, and he's just as good as it, is just as good at it as he was, you know, what we know, what he, what, you know, what he's made his bread and butter with, and what we know him throughout his career, getting to the bucket and all that kind of stuff. God damn, he's just as good as shooting the jump shots and three-pointers as he is this season, as he was doing other stuff, man, and it's a really a treat to watch it, and, and Laker fans, man, I'm telling you, man, we are really, really spoiled. Uh, how is it that consistently when the Lakers play, how is it consistently like that the oldest man on the damn court is still the best player, man? It's just crazy. It's just absolutely crazy, and we better, all the, all the basketball fans, we better appreciate it, you know, um, uh, you know, while it lasts, because when you look at the King, He's doing his thing. He's playing at a high level, but that brother be gassed, boy. <laughs> he be gassed. But anyway, the King leads the Lakers to another road victory. The road trip continues. Uh, let's see, Wednesday afternoon, we got the 76ers. And then that's followed up um, uh, with a back-to-back on on uh, Thursday. And then um, Saturday, we got the Celtics. Uh, on Saturday, and um, man, I just tell you, man, it's it's really it's really a treat. I'm mean, having a lot of fun watching the Lakers beat the hell out of everybody, and uh, it really does look like we're on a, a collision course with the Clippers. But you know, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. There was some interesting interesting news out of the Clipper camp today. Uh, Kawhi and PG will both miss tomorrow's game because of, because of COVID protocols. Um, they could. They could potentially miss several games, or man, hell, you never know. They just might play them raw. You never, you never know what might happen, man. Because it seems like when these guys are miss games with, with the COVID protocol, uh, they could miss a week, or they could miss two or three days. So I really don't know exactly how it's gonna go. But anyway, um, the Lakers are rolling. The Lakers are rolling. Anyway, this is your boy AC, LA Sports Live. Like, comment, share all that good stuff. Lime it, like. Comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Do it for me. Hook it up for me, guys. I really need your help. And um, I'm going to continue to bring the heat. Anyway, I'm out of here. I'll wrap with y'all later.